Hello all, welcome to binaryicos.com. My name is Rahul Sawan. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to update Metasploit and how to fix that GitHub problem while updating MSF update. So let's start. The application backtrack exploitation tool network exploitation tool and msf update it's updating and it's asking for a password of root so if i type a password to t double o r it again asking for a username it's a problem of github to solve this problem we need to uninstall metasploit first so let's uninstall metasploit apt get remove metasploit Do you want to continue? Press yes or Y and press enter. Now uh, it's removing Metasploit framework. Okay, it's completed. Let's check. Go to your CD and OPT directory for slash OPT. Type ls. Okay, there's no Metasploit folder right here. So it's deleted successfully. Now we have to install Metasploit. So type wget and go to this link metasploit.com release metasploit latest linux installer dot run and press enter if you face the problem like this unable to resolve host address okay right here so if you face problem like this open your web browser type here download metasploit now click on the first link so rapid 7 go to the bottom we need a metasploit community edition okay right here linux 64 bit and 32 bit so click your uh, first check your operating architecture operating system architecture and click on this link so it will start downloading i already download that file on my desktop right here so go to the desktop directory first CD desktop okay and change the mode of that file type chmod755 and the file name and now run that file it's meta metasploit setup Click forward, checkbox yes, it's your installation directory, forward, install the service, click yes, forward, again, it's SSL port, it's a default port, and name, server name, click forward, 
okay now it will install metasploit framework in your backtrack system Okay, it's finished the installation. So click on finish. Now open your web browser. Another tab and type localhost colon 3790 click on i understand the risk add exception okay and confirm security exception let's disable our extension go to tools add-ons extension and disable this oh we need to restart our firefox click on restart now Okay, restart is connecting again so let's try again just close this tab and run again localhost 3790 okay the login page is come up type your username type root type password make sure that you use number character and special characters this is an optional setting select your time zone okay and click on the create account now it will ask for a product key just click on the get product key we need a metasploit community edition it's a security warning just click ok click on get community edition this is your personal information just fill all this information and click on here get free license so it will mail you your product key metasploit will mail you the product key and copy that product key after copying that product key you will see the screen like this activation successful now let's open another terminal 
and type msf update okay now the msf update command is successfully work so it takes some time after completing you will see a screen like this installation completed now run msf console Okay, start MSF console. Your exploit is one one six two. It's increase. Now let's try to open our Armitage. I think Armitage is not installed. You will see this command. Command not found. Now you have to install the Armitage. Mm, let's try to our apt gate command if you see a problem like this could not find the package armitage now you have to download the armitage package from the internet open browser and type armitage download click on the first link and download this linux version armitage click on the link start the download i already download that file right here so copy that file on desktop now type tar x v f z and the file name so it will extract that file and make another folder right here to start our image so go to that folder cd our image and run your image Okay, the Armitage is start. So this is how to update Metasploit in Backtrack. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please visit binaryhackers.com.